Make a paragraph proof. A paragraph proof is basically like a flow proof with more words, more sentences. If you remember from a previous video, those of you who watch all my videos in order, the flow proof look like this, right? Where we said, this, the statement is blah, 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 and the reason is this, and the statement is blah, 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 and the reason is this. Well, now, instead of having a, a picture of a flow proof, it's going to be just in flat out sentences, and we're going to make it sound like, like a little essay. Okay. Uh, all right. So what do we have? We have given KMN. So KMN, KMN is 28 degrees. I can handle that. We're also given the fact that PTS, PTS is 118. I have to prove that JMK, JMK, the angle of this guy right here, is congruent to angle STR, which is this angle right here. Okay, so I have to show that these guys are congruent by using numbers like 28 and 118. Uh, let's start out with the given like we always do. We are given, now keep in mind, little little warning, just because I write it out this way doesn't mean it's the only way of doing it. I am, those of you who watch my videos know that I stumble and fumble over my words all the time. I accidentally misspeak. Uh, I misspell words all the time. Don't be like, wow, that guy is the, the, the Lord of grammar. No, I trust me, no. Uh, it's just the way that I'm doing is a way that's correct, but certainly not the only way. So we are given that the measure of angle KMN is 28 degrees and uh, the measure of angle PTS is 118 degrees, period, end of sentence. All right, how can I start connecting these dots? Uh, I need to find a way to connect green with purple here. So why don't I find out what uh, green is? Why don't I find out what purple is? And I'm sure at some point I will find out that they're the same. Now, what I know is I see that right angle right there. Okay, that right angle right there. So what I can say is that angle J, M, K, and angle K, M, N, add up to 90 degrees by the definition of right. Now, let's not say right, let's say complementary angles because right angles implies one angle. So let's say by definition of complementary angles. Complementary angles is just more proper. Complementary angles. So maybe what I should have said is that the measure of angle JMK plus the measure of angle KMN equals 90. Probably a, a better way to say it. Already my paragraph proof isn't falling apart, it's just much worse than it has to be. Uh, now, if that's the case, uh, what I can do is I can replace measure of KMN with 28. Using substitution, The measure of angle JMK plus 28 equals 90. Now I can solve for JMK by subtracting 28. So 
the measure of angle J M K equals, what is that, 62 using the substitution property. Nope, the subtraction property. Subtraction property. Cool, so what I have, I have that you are now 62. Now a lot of this, most of you kids watching this would be like, dummy, I know that I could just do 90 minus 28 and you wrote out like half a paragraph just to say that. Do we really have to do these for proofs? Yup. That's why this series is called gross geometry. It's not called easy happy time geometry. Easy happy time geometry is for you Khan Academy jerks. I apologize to the Khan Academy jerks. If they want to sponsor any of my videos, I'd be very happy. Now I found out what the measure of angle J and K is. Why don't I say that the measure of now what I'm going to do is I'm going to avoid writing so much here and just kind of jump right to that and say that the measure of angle STP, Stone Temple Pilots, plus the measure of angle PTS equals 180 by definition of supplementary angles. See, these guys add up to make 180. And I'm hoping by doing 180 minus 118, I get 62. I do. And if I get 62, then I can show that these guys are the same. So what I can do now, since I can't ever make it that simple because proofs are a nightmare, what I can do now is I can go back up here and remember that PTS is 118. So the measure of angle, uh, was it supposed to be STP? ST, wait, that's an R? Oh my gosh. R. So that Stone Temple Pilots joke is dead. And that's still PTS. STR, PTS. All right, I'm good. I just, you know, I don't have my glasses on, so I really can't see anyway. The measure of angle STR, okay. Plus, let's change PTS uh, is 118 equals 180 using substitution. If I subtract 118 from both sides, I get that the measure of angle STR equals 62 using the subtraction property of equality. Now that I know that the measure of angle STR is 62, and I found out up here that the measure of angle J and K is 62, I can now finally say that JMK is the same as STR. But first, <laughs> I have to say the measure of JMK is the same as the measure of angle STR using the transitive property. Transitive property says if A is C and B is C, then A is B. So that's what transitive property is. So using the transitive property, and now if their measures are the same, we can finally end this thing and say angle J M K is congruent to angle S T R. Uh, by definition of congruence. I nailed the spacing. Very proud of that. But this is a paragraph proof. Okay. This is a paragraph proof. Normal people, including myself, whenever, before you start your proofs, 
what you really should do is you should be like, well, if my job is to prove that this guy is the same as this guy, I know that that's a right angle. So 90 minus 28 is 62. And this is 180 degrees. So 180 minus 118 is 62. So these are the same. And this is what you have to do to prove it. It's the proof that's a nightmare. And it is a nightmare. But the best thing about nightmares is eventually you wake up. I think that's in the Bible. Or I just made it up. I don't know. Like and subscribe.